bird hits the window and breaks its neck. Yep, that's 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 life right there. Yeah, that is. That's life. You just you all of a sudden you're cruising. Yeah, and gone. then you just you never know when the glass window is gonna be there. You're right. So we're gonna learn from this bird inspirational moment. Yeah. We're gonna live life to the fullest. Yes. That's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Let's get excited. Alright, so people usually ask me, what do you do for money, what's your job, where do you work, and I tell them I sell vintage clothing online. And I think they think that I sell like shit from the 1800s or 1700s, like Victorian type shit. You know, if I fucking found it, hell yeah, I would fucking sell it. It's probably worth a fucking small fortune right there. Vintage to me means 80s and back, to me personally. However, nowadays, it means 90s and back. So shit from the 90s is nowadays considered to be vintage. It's weird for me too. So most of the shit that I fucking sell is from the 90s and from the 80s. 70s, occasionally, 60s and 50s, it starts to get rare as you go farther back in time. Next question I get, well where do you find this shit? Thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, auctions, sometimes people call me up, they're like, yo damn it, I got some shit I'm gonna throw out or donate, you wanna go through it before I fucking throw it out. So basically, my day consists of being a treasure hunter. I go to the thrift stores and all these places looking for these treasure. Now I don't just sell clothes, but clothes are easier to find in abundance. Not to say they're easy to find, but there's more of them. To give an idea of like shit that I sell, for example, the shirt that I'm fucking wearing right now. It's a Spitfire shirt, okay? It's a 90s Spitfire skateboard wheels t-shirt, okay? Now in the 90s, skateboarding wasn't as popular as it is now. So it's already a small niche of people that skate, you know? So in the 90s, it was even smaller. So to find something from the 90s, from the skateboard community is pretty fucking rare. So, people that were skating in the 90s, you know, they're usually probably 30s and up now, they're looking for the original shit. Why? Because of nostalgia. It's nostalgic to them. So, the right person's gonna pay a certain amount for this Spitfire long sleeve. It's not for sale, by the way. I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> That's a perfect example. So, you probably have things right now, maybe depending on your age or your parents, in your closet or drawer somewhere in your house that's probably worth something you have no idea because it's shit that people don't think about. Now in the business that I'm in reselling vintage things, it's based on how much you know. How much you know is how much you make. Now for whatever reason, I have a large, vast, useless knowledge of pop culture. It's not useless nowadays, come to find out, but I don't know why that is or how that is, because I was never one that was like really big into the pop culture, what was going on. I was always doing my own thing, marching to the beat, my own drum sort of thing. But for whatever reason, I know about like all the big time movies that hit, music that was going on, the styles, history with politics and all that shit. Laws that were passed, laws that were abolished, all the these things tie into what is going to sell and what is not going to sell. That's all it is. And of course the condition it's in goes into how much it's gonna fucking, you know, run me for or whatever. But usually how it works is if I can't make at least four times as much as I paid for it off of it, I don't even fucking bother with it, which usually isn't a problem. The t-shirt's usually gonna run me a fucking dollar. So you'll probably see some clips here and there of me in a thrift store running through racks or whatever. This is all part of who I am, you know what I mean? It's part of what I do. Yeah, I enjoy doing the treasure hunting part. The other tedious parts, you know, it, it's, it's work, you know, it, it is a job. People don't think it is. People think like, oh, that's, you know, that's really cool and like, I wish I could do that. You know, it's great. It is, it is great. It beats having a nine to five but it's fucking work. I know it doesn't seem like it. It may not compete to work to the guy who's slinging a fucking sledgehammer or whatever that he's doing, you know, or she's doing 
you know, for fucking 12 hours of the day. No, it's not fucking physical goddamn labor. Hell no. Not even fucking close. But it is fucking work, and you have to treat it like a fucking job. If you don't treat it like a job, if you don't put in your hours, put in your time, you don't eat. It's that simple. Bills aren't paid, and you don't eat. So on one hand, people are usually like, yeah, that's fucking cool, man. You know, I wish I could do that, because they're in their head, they're not thinking that it's actual work. And then the other people that are just like, you just, you just don't want to work. You just don't want to have a fucking job, and blah, blah, blah. You're lazy, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, those fucking people. Those people annoy the hell out of me. And I try to keep them far away out of my thoughts as I possibly can. Like, just because you're doing something a little different, just because your goals in life or whatever are a little different than theirs, they immediately just attack you. Just attack you. Like, why, man? Let me live my life how I'm going to live it. And you worry about your own, man. What? Why are you sitting there so angry about it? And that is the business that I'm in. I hope that clears some shit up. All right. Yeah. <laughs>
Right three yards, seven flowers to the pool with the lyrics for Tony, Tony, Tony. It's our anniversary on the card. I just got done training chest. I slammed on my wrist the other day skating, like, I mean, fucking hard. So, I went, I mean, the only thing I really went light on was the fucking dips. I normally use a plate when I do dips, but no plate today. Uh, I think that was the wise decision, because my fucking wrists are fried, man. When you skate and lift, like, you still have to lift when you fucking hurt yourself skating. It's like a whole nother thing, man. I've said it before, it takes no excuses to a whole other level. Like, you know what I mean? You can't just skip the gym. Like, if I skip the gym every time I got hurt skating, like, shit, man, I'd be missing all kinds of days in the fucking gym, you know? But it's all part of the process, so for me, you know what I mean? I chose to do both of these, so gotta keep up. I made a fucking schedule for myself today. I'm proud of myself. I made an actual schedule to follow as far as work and everything that I fucking do day to day. That way I can stay on top of shit and have some kind of fucking structure, I guess. Because right now I'm doing everything at once. And nothing's getting done because I'm doing everything at once. So I'm hoping having an actual fucking schedule, being an adult, a grown up, my own boss, and writing a schedule is gonna help me. I think it's gonna help. So yeah, I think we're gonna call it there. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it, tell your friends. Your friends probably think you're weird, but it's okay. We're all a little fucking weird. Some more than others. Embrace the weird, though. <laughs> all right, get excited.